Howdy folks, this is a really interesting situation here. Uh, we had the power go off, the grid, you know, like the power like locally just went off over the whole area here in southeastern Texas about 10 o'clock this morning. It's about two in the after, well, it's about two in the afternoon right now and it finally came back on. But in the past four hours, I've been on the computer, the internet, my wife's watching TV, everything's just rolling like normal. But how? Because we have solar generators. We have quite a number of them. So I put everything I needed on solar generators for the time being just to you know pass the time kind of thing uh the only thing i considered doing was putting all these lights in here on with the studio with the camera so we could go ahead and shoot the show today but we didn't and what we're talking about oddly enough is a solar generator now it's, it's not real sunny out so this is going to be the downside of all this right now it's not real great for sun but uh this is an interesting product and it, it came in as a power station but also as a solar generator and it is very different by design and it might be something you really like especially if you're rv camping portable anything like that something like this might really interest you look at the way this thing is made it has some very unusual features let's get into it well i've got the box that it came in out of here for a second just wanted you to see the spelling and solar power generator yeah because it really is it's it's the most solar power generator I've ever seen <laughs> because it has a feature, something a little different. Let's uh, get, get rid of the box. You got to check this out. This is so cool. First thing you're going to notice is this comes back like this on an angle and it leans over. And of course, this whole side here opens up and look at that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Two solar panels right here. Rated at about 35 watts, so you can park this thing outside someplace in the sun, preferably in the sun, not the shade, and, and let all that power set up and store in this unit. When you're done or when you think you're ready, you can turn around and you've got all these plugs right here. And they've all got nice rubber caps on them to keep the weather out, so that's, that's a good thing. But what a different you know package uh, usually and it's it's like a suitcase so it's nice and flat so it's easy to store just a lot of different things about this i kind of really like this thing is it's like it's like a really cool thing that you know approaches the market from a different angle because you've, you've probably seen the ones that are the they're square as a shoe box they're bulky they're heavy you got two handles trying to pick it up this thing here's got the single handle pick it up and walk around with it kind of thing so it's that you know it's cool 600 watts so it's you know it can carry some power now today was uh i gotta tell you <laughs> when the power went off the first thing that you see is the whole neighborhood around here everybody's outside oh comes out of the house you know they all walk out got their hands in their pockets and they're all looking around like no power so that means no internet no tv no no lights whatever nothing it's about 70 degrees so we don't need heat or air conditioning on so that's a good thing so at least the weather is nice and mild the power being off I've, I've told the wife hey the power can stay off till tomorrow or the next whatever i don't care i've got solar i've got solar generators i can carry everything in the house i need so i hooked everything up to make us comfortable and went right about my business as if nothing was wrong uh there was a couple cars that went by out on the road that sort of looked up the driveway and i probably saw the lights on in here and stuff and thought huh what's he you know he must have a generator running but you know they don't hear anything well obviously not because we're using these i cannot describe the feeling of just knowing that i can carry out and do everything in the household including get on the computer and go to the internet like i did and by the way when the whole area is out of power the internet is really really fast because there's nobody else on there but you <laughs> yeah so our speed was I, I took a sample speed test and I was like, man, we're on that internet. We are like three times faster than anything I've ever seen. But we're probably the only one using the tower locally right now because everybody else is off without power. So it was a very, very interesting feeling. And it really felt good to know that I can, I've got backup. I've got backup for everything, you know, and we've got quite a few solar generators. But this one here really threw me off when I saw this panel at the front come off the side here like this and open up 
I thought, that's pretty cool. Very portable, you know, especially with the camping and the RVing. You know, granted, you know, that's that's one aspect, but even around the house here, uh, you can stick that thing out in the driveway for a bit while you're, you know, if you're out of luck with power or something, and you can charge this thing up, and if you've got all these, you know, nice rubber plugs, which, you know, pop that back in. And of course, you have an outlet now, the only thing about this particular unit that I've, I've not seen before is we have just one outlet at uh, 600 watts with, I guess, a 1200 watt surge. They're always rated that way for some reason. But uh, if you have a power bar or something, then you can make more power for more things. Because I noticed our, I've discovered our television today takes 78 watts. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> I know now. You know, <laughs> it's a 65 inch, I think, so it's a pretty good size. You also have the usual uh, DC plug thing. Again, uh, no use for those whatsoever. But you know, it's it's good to have. I'm sure there's some people that can probably use something like that. Uh, besides the DC uh, barrel plugs, I think we call those, and then we've also got, of course, USB. A and USB C and they're on switches so you can shut them off so you're not you know wasting time and power trying to run something you don't need now let's power this thing up and just see I left it out in the Sun the other day so I don't know where we're at okay this is another way to save save power uh, virtually whoops <laughs> it went off again uh, hit the button to power up and the battery comes up and shows it's hundred percent full yeah also there's a uh, input barrel type plug here down below so you can bring regular solar panel type stuff in to also add to the charge to charge this up even faster now the 600 watts 1200 surge and 614 watt hour rated so that means it can run the whole 600 watts for you know an hour now the tv this morning plugged into this or something you know you're gonna you're definitely gonna have more television than even four or five hours or six hours you're gonna have more than that so you know, 600 watts will get you by pretty good, which surprised me again today because of the power outage. Uh, I hooked up the the modem, the TV, some lighting, and uh, one of the computers, uh, and some lights in here. And all the power stations I were all showing, you know, it'll take 23, 24 hours to run down or something. So I was like, cool. You know, we have more than enough power through the, throughout the entire day, plus overnight if need be and i have one big power station which was set aside just to run the refrigerator if it need be and that one can actually run the refrigerator probably 24 7. i mean you just recharge it put it back on recharge it put it back on whatever and keep the door of the refrigerator closed if you have the young ones try to explain that to them the door needs to stay closed so that you know it won't get warm in there but <laughs> yeah now uh I'm gonna ask you, I'll tell you right now, we will get provide a link below in the description where you can find this beast, but uh, I would again invite you always, you know, to check back in a few days, whatever, for a coupon code, because that a lot of times these companies will give me uh, some kind of release for a, you know, for a, a link or something for you, but I'll, sometimes they'll come back a couple of days later or something and say, oh, 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 here, by the way, post this coupon code so that, you know, people can uh, get a great deal on this thing. Now. I've given you some of the numbers, and also, by the way, this won uh, an award for innovation and design, which I have to admit, I'm gonna move this other way. This comes with it too, by the way. This is a household type power supply, and also a pile of barrel uh, adopter plugs for different things. So it, they even have, and I've never seen this one before, yeah, a barrel to barrel plug, which again, will allow you to tie the input if you need be into this in order to bring in you know solar power from say some individual or separate panels or something or if you have some portables and again uh, I'm gonna check that though uh, one thing I do want to talk about was uh, how much solar power you can bring in because these some of these uh, stations they vary and I've got one out in the shop right now and it requires you've got to be over 36 volts from the panels or it won't charge. Now I have commercial panels and I have uh, marine type panels. So the commercial ones are over 36 volt anyway. So there was like, no problem. You know, we can go ahead and charge this, the power station up. Uh, this one here, as soon as I get the, the numbers here on it in a second, I will tell you exactly what the solar power is that you can bring in separately besides having the, uh, the panel built into the machine. <laughs> okay, I've gone through all the paperwork. Uh, it does show the barrel plug here for input which uh, is kind of important to me to know, you know, what we can add to this for charging. 
and it does say that it could go to a, like a cigarette lighter plug. So we're going to assume 12 volts, so nothing too high like 24 or 36 volt set systems. So you need 12 volt. Now, uh, they do have, they, they tell me that Rowley does have uh, solar power packages that are portable panels or something you can add to this in order to increase the, uh, you know, the speed of the charge, how, how fast it's going to charge up. The only thing is, uh, it doesn't say how many watts, uh, you know, can come in, that sort of thing. And I couldn't find it anywhere in the instruction manuals. Now, this also comes with a 60 month warranty. And besides the awards for design and whatever and features, I, I think it's just a, it's an amazing, terrific uh, generator. But it also, there's one other little thing that's uh, between you guys and me. I won't tell anybody else, right? But uh, I'll show you a picture of the uh, solar generator they were supposed to send me. Okay, you can see that. And of course, that's a very small one, not very expensive. And it's, you know, it looks like it's good for camping and stuff. So I really don't have a problem with it at all. I thought, you know what, you know, send that over and we'll do, you know, we'll take a look at it for a review. And in the meantime, uh, somebody, I, some, I think somebody goofed. <laughs> this, this was not supposed to be here, but it's here. <laughs> and it is, it is really, really interesting. It's nice. And I really like this. I love, love this idea. Just open that up, turn it into a you know panel. Now there's different ratings. Uh, I'm seeing, this is the C600, which means technically this should be 30 watts of panel. This is the wrong one that was sent over. So, <laughs> so I had to look at all the numbers over again. This is a 30 water, but it is still the 600 watt out with the 1200 surge. And it, like I said, it does have a lot of pretty cool design to it. It is just a nice machine all the way around. And I really do love it. And I'll tell you right now, if the power goes off around your house and you have some of these kicking around, you can, it'll make you feel really good when you know that you can hook a few things back up, just plug stuff in and go, hey, you know, so what if the power's off? I'm doing just fine without it. <laughs> Now it also comes with this pouch with the all the paperwork, uh, manual instructions, and a pretty little certificate and whatever. Yeah, so basically, oh, your certificate uh, for warranty, stuff like that, everything will be in this package here. So yeah, check that out because really, honestly, this is a nice piece right here without any of that because it can charge itself. You know, it's like, you can't beat it. I've had a crazy week around here right now. And uh, somebody over there at uh, Browley is probably spitting coffee over his desk and saying, you sent him what? <laughs> yeah, I guess, as I said, this was, uh, you know, this was probably, well, I don't know. This was not what was supposed to be showing up, but we love it. You know, it is, it is everything great, you know. And let's, let's talk about who, who could use this. I, if you're an apartment dweller or a condo dweller, uh, this would be one way to have some kind of backup power and put it out on the porch or whatever or out on the landing or something and you know charge it up when you need to or even take it downstairs take carry it in the car take it wherever and charge it up in the sun throw it back bring it back home and you've got 600 watts of emergency power for around you know especially the internet and the, <clears throat> the computers and the TV whatever it's just nice to have all that stuff up and running like that with the, when the power goes out especially if you have a big power out or a storm, something like that. Now, also camping, RVing, anything like that, it doesn't, I don't think, to tell you the truth, I don't think the package gets much better than that. Oh, it's 23 pounds, I guess I better mention that, because, yeah, it's uh, it's not bad, it's 23 pounds. It's it's heavy, but it, it has to be, because it's gonna hold a lot of energy for you when you're gonna, you know, whenever you're gonna use it, so it's it's great that way. Gotta thank Barley for sending this over to us, even if they didn't mean to. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not clear on it now what happened, but yep, it's all good because what a nice solar power generator. I, I invite you to take a look at those links below and just have a look at this thing. This thing is, oh, and another little thing too. Uh, it's it, The link should probably be through, I believe it will be through Amazon, which again has a great return policy if for some reason, you know, if it's, it's not what you need. Uh, I can give you a list of stuff today that we ran, and the, uh, the my wife likes to use a puzzle table when she wants to keep busy and the power's off, and the light over the puzzle table was like 7 watts, the TV was 78 watts, the internet modem system was like 40 watts, 
technically this probably could have kept us going, you know, most of the day. Now I did have more than one power station that I dragged into the house to plug stuff in with. But also I used the uh, gaming computer, which is a little bit high on power. But I had a big power station for it, so it was like, you know, I can sit there and game a little bit while I'm waiting for power to come back on. Uh, after a while, we started to get into some other uh, things in the house, and then I went and looked at the refrigerator and says, okay, if the power stays off for more than about six hours or something, I'm going to bring in the big power station to uh, run the refrigerator with, and that way we know the refrigerator will be cold and everything's going to, you know, keep. Because uh, being southeastern Texas, we had no idea how long the power was going to be off for because we weren't, we didn't know the power was going off when it went. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's the kind of lifestyle that we seem to have these days is these brownouts and power outs and whatever. So, you know, bring it on. I'm ready, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. Got something. Uh, we, did a, we did a giveaway, I guess technically Thursday. Now, I haven't seen that Thursday yet because this is pre-recorded weeks in advance, but yeah. Hey, I'm out of here. What a cool item here. Over and out.